What we're looking at here is an exterior wood stairway with some leaning newel posts. The reasons why have a lot to do with the way they are connected to the stair stringers. Now in this video, I'm gonna provide you with a few examples uh, of a, some better ways that you can make these supports a little stronger. Now the biggest problem with this particular stairway is that the bolts on the bottom, the lag screws, aren't spaced far enough apart to provide you with any structural support or enough. So the post is going to be loose. And I'll just go around here and take a look. This is the most common way that people will attach a 4x4 post to the front, put a couple of bolts, lag screws in there, and uh, hope for the best. Now here's Probably the biggest problem that, that creates the weakest structure, it's when the stair stringer is cut a little long and there isn't enough room to space these bolts apart to, put, uh, to make a wider gap to really provide you with any strength. Definitely not the best choice. Now you can cut the stringer a little farther back and this is going to get farther back you cut the stringer, the more you're going to be able to space the bolts or the greater the distance you're going to be able to put between the bolts, lag screws that you're actually going to attach into the stringer. And you can see here, this is a good way, but I don't see a lot of people doing this. And uh, I rarely see anyone doing this. This is actually where you notch the stringer back a little farther so that you can space the bolts out even a greater distance. Now, like I said, I don't see people doing this. Uh, it's probably not something that they've thought of. I've just figured it out while I was doing some drawing here. If something like this would work for you, do it. And you can see where the benefits of it, you can really get to space these bolts out farther. And uh, that's going to provide you with an even stronger um, newel post. And uh, even maybe the possibility of putting three bolts in, three lag screws instead of two, that could also be another option. If you're still looking for a little more support, you can always put a post base at the bottom of the post. It's also going to keep it off the ground to help it from getting absorbing water if it's sitting on concrete. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to do the same to the stringer. Raise the stringer up with a post base so that, like I said, you're not uh, coming back in uh, five or six years and replacing these stringers or the newel post. Now, you could always use the post base and put a couple bolts in instead of just one. I mentioned that a little earlier. You could put three in if you have the room. I'm leaving that up to you. Another option would be to run one into the stringer and one into the stair tread. And this right here seems like this would provide you with an extremely sturdy newel post. It probably is not going to be moving. So there you have it. The so a few solutions to solving the mysteries of how to create a stronger newel post at the bottom of these 4x12 closed stringer stairways. And don't forget, if you find this information helpful, to hit the old thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area.